Hello everyone. I hope you are doing very well. My name is Atik and recently I have received my full-time job offer from the world largest aircraft manufacturer and the aerospace company, the Boeing company. I know everyone wants to know about me, how was my journey to get into there. So in today's video, I will share my experience, whatever I faced, what was and what I went through with you in this video. So stay with me. I will try to explain you in details. So I started my graduate study at the University of North Dakota, which is located in the state of North Dakota in the USA. So when I started my journey as a graduate student, I have decided that I will take my Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering degree in the year of uh, 2021 at December. Uh, then I started my preparation accordingly. Uh, but later I have decided that uh, it is also important for me to visit my country Bangladesh because a uh, long time I didn't see my parents and the relatives. So I was actually in dilemma that what I will do whether I will take my graduation or I will visit my country. So as I was decided to take my graduation on December. So accordingly I started my preparation and started applying for my job. The first few job I applied actually I didn't hear anything good from them. Then I came to know that sometimes instead of just applying through online, it is better if you participate uh, some job fair or job conference where you can get the direct exposure to the recruiter or the hiring manager. So this is sometimes helpful. So I follow this route. What I did because of COVID during that time, those conferences were held online. So it was very easy for me because I didn't need to uh, go travel so much distance or I didn't need to spend so much money. I just registered online and appeared those conference virtually. So for Boeing company, they were hiring during that time and they arranged several job fair and conference. I registered for two of them. I can tell you the name. First one is Great Mind in STEM, G-I-M-T shortly. And the second one was OSTAM. So I registered both of the conference and participated them. And there, for the first time in my life, I had the chances to actually talk with uh, a real life, like first line Boeing engineering manager or engineering leader. And I had the chances to express myself in front of them. However, in both of the conference, after talking with the hiring manager, somehow they like me and then they said they want to take a one person interview with me along with the hiring managers so they sent me the in invitation for the interview and i received the invitation from the boeing recruiter um, when hiring manager confirmed them so i was taking preparation accordingly i also appeared two of the interviews for two different position but after the interview, somehow I didn't hear anything back from them. So I reached to one of the hiring manager or Boeing engineering leader. I asked him actually, uh, I respect his decision, but it will be great for me if I know the reason. So one of the hiring manager among two was very generous. And he said me that uh, my interview was excellent, but the only driving force behind not selecting me uh, compared to other candidate was that the other candidate he was already graduated and he has the degree in his hand whereas in my case i didn't have the degree still till then in my hand so this was the reason so i thought that okay if i take the degree then i will become a more suitable candidate for boeing so it is better for me to take my degree as soon as i can so i was trying to cancel my journey to bangladesh but however i couldn't do this uh, because my parents were very eager to see me so I continue my process to visit Bangladesh however I did one thing like I started my dissertation writing process and gathering data talking with my supervisor to wrap up everything but uh, I visited my country uh, I didn't have any option because uh, the ticket was booked from the earlier and because the graduation ceremony for the fall semester was in December so I was trying my best. So
so if i can secure any job before i visit my country though my degree wasn't in my hand at that moment but i was taking preparation for the thesis writing uh, i tried but actually i didn't get however before visiting my country two days ago when i was in the usa i received another another interview from boeing and in that case because my resume was already in their website or already in their talent pool so the hiring manager another hiring manager who directly reached to me from california southern california so i appeared the interview and the interview did went well and when the interview was finished i visited for my country and one month when i was in my country i was completely disconnected from the us network and because uh, my cellular phone was not working there only the email was the way how someone can reach to me so when i visited my country i sent an email to the hiring manager where i gave the interview but he said me that uh, unfortunately they didn't select me so it was fine okay i was already rejected two times earlier though it was not rejected the only one reason behind it boeing was looking for someone who has the degree already in their hand or i didn't have so it's okay i didn't mind i was staying my time and enjoying my time in my country so and i didn't have any actually connection with someone in the usa during that time except email or by the facebook so I spent my country, uh, I went to Bangladesh on December 9, 2021 and I left my country on January 16, 2022. So more than one month I was there. So when I came back from my country, I spent one day with my wife in New York City. During that time when I turned on my phone, I found that all the email all the message text phone message and call voicemail that accumulated during this time when it got the connection everything was popping up and everything was coming so i was checking one by one all the text and also all the voicemail so one of the voicemail i found from the recruiter he said that i'm i'm xsx recruiter i am from the boeing company I was trying to reach to you can you remember one month ago you attend one interview with one of the Boeing hiring manager however though you are not suitable for this position the hiring manager have now one more opening which is a little bit senior position because you are a master's degree holder and the hiring manager think that you will be a suitable person and right candidate for this position so if you want we can attend an interview with the hiring manager however remember I check the voicemail was sent on January 6 and I left my country Bangladesh on January 16 so it was already 10 days due and I landed in New York on January 18 so 12 days due so I was concerned actually uh, that uh, the interview process has gone and already some other candidate is selected so I got a little bit desert and I was I, I actually became angry that why the recruiter didn't reach me by the email why she just sent me the voicemail I was I, I was so scared and so angry so during that time uh, I thought that okay whatever happened is written by Almighty God so I can give a try so I reached to the recruiter by phone when I was in the John F. Kennedy International Airport, so I reached to her and said that, okay, I received a voicemail from you like that. However, during that time, I was outside of US border. So I couldn't receive the voicemail and I couldn't respond accordingly. I'm sorry for that. But as you said, the hiring manager is interested about me. Do you have any chance that you can arrange the interview right now? So when I can still not remember when I was asking this I was shivering because it was such a good position and like actually I, I was completely innocent I was in my country why I will be why I'll be deprived from this opportunity right but it was a surprise for me the recruiter said well hiring manager took the interview but he wasn't able to choose anyone or he didn't find the suitable candidate as the hiring manager chose you specially and he told she he told me to reach to you so i can talk for you with the hiring manager and i will let you know after 20 minutes after that the recruiter 20 minutes later she reached to me and she said that okay i talked with the hiring manager still now the position is vacant however the post which was published in the boeing website it is already taken away 
so i can open the position for you just for one hour let me assure that you can apply within this one hour so that uh, we receive your application and we can forward it to the hiring manager i said yeah i can do it by phone though i was in the airport during the transit time during that time but i was very excited i said okay send it to me then she the recruiter she opened the application though it was closed by this time for one hour and just immediately i applied from my phone cell phone because my laptop was not getting connected with the wi-fi of jfk airport so i used my cell phone to do this i have already the open profile in the boeing website carrier profile so i just hit hit okay and the application was submitted and immediately i informed the recruiter that i have done the application process she said me thanks and it was done so just after application two days later she arranged an interview with hiring managers and in the interview there were four hiring managers senior engineers from boeing i can remember yet so the position was actually one step higher than the earlier position that i applied and they didn't select me so i said earlier that the driving reason was that i didn't have the degree and in that case also i do not have the degree because i visited my country but however i have already in the process of writing my thesis so i appeared the interview and interview went well and hiring manager also said that this is a good position for me one step ahead because the earlier position was entry level now it is a level 2 position and i have a masters degree holder so this is good for me so the interview went well and just after the interview three or four days later i received the confirmation email from the recruiter that hiring manager wants to select me and they offered me the letter so i signed the conditional offer letter uh, because my degree wasn't completed then by during this time so i received the conditional offer letter and i accepted it and then i arranged my master's thesis defense i completed my master's thesis defense and after completing the master's thesis defense though i had a plan to take my degree on december but i couldn't take it so though i gave my thesis defense on february but i have to wait until may because the may uh, i can get the ceremony or i can be graduated by spring 2022 so i wait till then and when my graduation was completed on may 14 from the may 20 i joined the boeing company as an advanced concept engineer uh, and during that time boeing company um, also gave me all support for the relocation process and i was always in close contact with my recruiter and also the hiring manager about the progress so once everything done i joined the boeing company on may 2022 okay so i do also want to add one other base thing of the boeing company like i am a fan of academia like not academy actually i didn't i didn't wanted to become a professor or postdoctoral fellow something like that but uh, i was always interested that i will have the highest academic degree that is the doctoral degree or the phd degree so and my professor who was my master supervisor she also had uh, very interest to give me the opportunity to continue my phd degree so once i got my job uh, i also talked with my manager at the boeing that i want to continue my phd degree then uh, i came to know that boeing also have a very nice opportunity to continue the higher study like uh, they have the learning together program so based on this learning together program and based on my designation i was able to receive $25000 annually to continue my post graduation degree so i chose that uh, i will continue my phd degree Uh, and i applied for it and i received it so after getting my job at boeing now i am continuing my phd degree also in the mechanical engineering and boeing was a great help in that case because they not only gave me the permission and they also allocated $25000 annually for me to continue my phd degree which is a massive thing for me and i do really appreciate and everyone in the boeing at least the team that i work with boeing they always encourage me to continue my phd and get the highest academic degree or the terminal degree and i am very grateful for this boeing is a awesome company along with many benefits and many parts for the employees and learning together program which allow the employee to go for higher studies whatever they want to take it's a great opportunity because boeing wants you to become more educated and contribute more with your brain with your knowledge for the company because we are a company which work for innovation we are a company which 
work on the awesome product coolest product probably in the universe uh, for the mankind so knowledge is must innovation is must so boeing always uh, you know boeing always encourages the innovation always encourage the higher studies because the more you will be educated the more you will be able to contribute for this innovation journey so this was the little bit story about how was my journey with the boeing interview process now uh, i want to share few other things with you just when the interview was completed the recruiter sent me one medical test form so i signed the medical test form and in my address they gave me the medical center address i went there and did my medical test and the drug test and after that the background check was pending they did my background check boeing background check was robust because uh, i completed my bachelor in aerospace engineering from a, from a university outside of usa so they contacted with them to verify my credentials transcript certificate so it took few more uh, a few more days than expected because in my country checking the email is not so popular practice so usually the background check people they send them the email there was a delay in the response and they also check my earlier employment record that i did in my country i was an engineer at the novo air so they contacted with them to verify my credentials and my job experience so once everything was done i was also getting myself prepared um, by giving my thesis defense and also uh, accommodating collecting everything to completely relocate to the california southern california where is my boeing facility is and everything in my house so that was a very nice experience and of course a smooth experience and this is pretty expected from a great company like boeing to have this opportunity so overall my interview process was very smooth but it was a little bit dramatic just because i visited my country and uh, i missed the voicemail however life is not always expected there is always something unexpected and we need to be get ready for it and i myself believe your destiny or what you will get in your life it is defined by how you react when the time is not for you rather the time is against for you so everyone can perform or everyone can do better when the time is good but not everyone can do better when the time is odds or going against you so if you are a really good performer when the time is against you or not acting for you if you can perform really well during that time that defines how strong you are and how potential you are to get get the great success in your life so now if i say the post that i got at boeing now it is actually a higher position and is better position than compared to the three posts that i applied earlier and i was rejected because i didn't have the degree during that time so what is lotted is good for us what is almighty god plan is always good for us and i also believe in this and moreover like the position the the three position from where i was rejected from none of them were actually my dream position i always wanted to become an aircraft design engineer who is the concept designer or who is sometimes called the father of an aircraft so i always wanted to be like that and almighty god gave me this chance to become an aircraft design engineer with the world largest aerospace company the boeing company i am forever thankful for this and i believe you got the idea at least how the process work and how it went and how the interview process work uh, or the other thing works for the boeing company i hope it will be helpful for you but in the future i have a plan to make more videos on how the interview process is because boeing interview is not and not only boeing the all the fortune 500 companies or the big tech giant companies their interview process is different than the ordinary interview or a no name company or small companies so i have a plan to make video on this also so if you stay tuned with my channel in the future hopefully you will receive the notification of those video as well thank you very much for spending time in my channel and i wish you all the best and good luck for your upcoming days have a nice rest of the day